Okay, so this is one of the ways, this, this tool, feel, which I coined Feel the Feelings, will take you all the way up to enlightenment, will 100% clear your ego out. Even if you just did this and took this from today and did this regularly, this would like clear up your whole ego and take you into the enlightenment field. Okay, so if you just sit down uh, and uh, hopefully with your back reasonably straight and your head up, then feeling the feelings is like getting a reading of what is being experienced now. Yeah. Now, you just, this could be, to make it simple, it could be like even what feelings are there in the body? You know, what sensations are there? Is there like tightness in the chest? Is there a headache? Is there back pain? Or <clears throat> so you just become aware of that. You become aware of the limits of your body. Do I feel like I'm this big? Or do I feel that big? Or this, am I contracted into the body? So you just be, become aware of the feelings. Not, feelings is not exactly the right word. Energy is probably better. Even energies is not even necessarily the right word. Vib you know, vibrations or energetic experience. Yeah. So just become aware of what's here, and let go of needing the head or the mind to label or make a story about what is being experienced in the now. So let's say, for example, if someone was feeling like, I don't know, like stomach ache. So let go of your head needing to make a story about that or make a label or even. A think at that time. So what you do is just be with the energy and if, you're, if there's a, a tension goes to a thought, let it go and just be back with the vibration or the energy. So this is how it works for a newcomer. You, like, you might be like just feeling whatever energies or sensations are there and then suddenly you go in like, I need to do my shopping. If you do I need to do my shopping, you're now back in the ego, you're back in thinking. So quickly detach from that thought and be back with the energies. And then suddenly it'll be like, oh, I need to go to the toilet. No, let that thought go and be back with the energies. So if you do this as a regular practice, then you'll be able to catch the thoughts quicker and quicker and not let them go off for so long into a story before you're back with just being with the energies. And after regular practice, you'll be spending, like, let's say you're doing 10 minutes a day, you, in the beginning you might be like 90%, 95% in your head and only 5% being with the energies, if that makes sense. But after you do it regularly, you should be able to catch the thoughts before you go into a long story and be back with the energy. Don't let it go off into a long story. Back. And then you should hopefully be like you know, 95% being with, allowing the energies and only occasionally being in the odd thought and bring it back. So that, when you do that, Basically, all these repressed energies, you know, if you've been watching TV, overeating, drinking, drugging, whatever, just habitually getting into relationships to avoid uh, feeling the presence, then all that distraction, all these energies that have been repressed by these distraction or addictive behaviors will start to come out and be processed out. And then eventually, if you don't activate the head, you'll come to a state of beingness or presence or a state of grace or into this eternal limitless now because it's like the thoughts create limits and these repressed energies also create but once it's all gone then you just come into the eternal now. If you're new to this you may have this practice, just daily practice. So we're going to do a practice now for about 10 minutes or so and just let's practice that and then we can see how we went with that.